Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to do a quick flip through of my junk journal. I've got halfway through it, so I just thought I'd share with you what I've done so far. Now I was really, really lucky to be gifted this beautiful journal from um, Chrissy Mannix, who made this for me with all these fabulous different papers and so on in here. So it's got two signatures, so you can see I finished my first signature and I've got the second one to start on. So I, when I got this journal, I decided that I had a whole heap of printables from Little Raven Ink um, and I was hoarding them. I didn't want to use them. So I thought, this is a perfect journal. It's small enough, I can chuck them in and it just makes me happy. There's so much bright colour in it. So I did the front cover, again with some printables and some little stickers, Sneeves Junk Journal, acrylic paint in the background. And a lot of the artwork in here kind of replicates Little Raven Inks artwork or Courtney Diaz's artwork and um, certainly some of the colours and some of the shapes and mark making and so on. So this shape here I cut out, a kind of a mermaidy shape and I used the leftovers stickers and stick them on the other page and then colour in as well. Um, using mermaid markers, watercolours and all sorts and because this paper is all the papers are different, they react in different ways which I love. Some pages go really crinkly, some pages absorb it really easily, some pages it sits beautifully on top. So this is one sort of talking about being an explorer of your own creativity, talking about um, sort of making an effort to make art every day. While I love my Dina Wakely journal which I think is 8 by 11 that's the size that I really enjoy working on, I've loved having this A5 size because it's just perfect and it's great for sort of doing this writing as well. It's, it's not too big to feel that you've um, filled it up. So again just sticking just random shapes down, they don't mean anything, writing little reminders to myself, using some of the um, mark making in the background, so that was just acrylic paints or watercolours in the background, the licensed cool pen from Jane Davenport, trying out some new um, materials in this as well, um, drama sticks over the hair and over the stickers just to see how it worked. This page had um, this beautiful wing on it, so I decided I'd use it. These circles were cut out, I think I actually showed you the page, somewhere up here. Somewhere. It's hard to find where you've gone. So this had just circles of colour which I just cut out and made into balloons because it seemed like it fitted. So um, doing the borders around, using a lot of quotes as well in this page. I sort of wanted to be an, not an inspirational journal but just something that if I just need to splash colour around and have something positive or to remind myself of something I can do it in here and it makes me happy when I look at it. Uh, so again lots of colour on this page, these are black and white wings and just using Copic markers to colour them in so again to get that really bright colour to match the printable. And I like these little pages as well that you can sort of fill in and add some stuff to. And you can see where I sort of painted over it and added it on. So these stamps for example in the background were already there from Chrissy. And I really like that it's got that additional, someone else's had got their artwork in here which is great. This is one of my favourite pages in here. The new day comes new strength and new thoughts choose well. Um, and just overlaying the uh, the stickers. Um, for most of the front of the journal I was using watercolours in here and I started using some acrylics in here too which I really love the effect of. And the good thing about using acrylics on different weights of paper is it does kind of seal the paper somewhat so you're less likely to get bleed through. This is another page which I really loved again, using sort of acrylics in the background, trying to extend the image so the image stops here and just trying to colour it in so it matches. Using some of the Tim Holtz stickers as well. This one was nice and bright, using chalk markers, keep your face towards the sunshine, you can see, cannot see the shadows. You have to read that properly and trying to put the shadows around her in the sunshine over here. So again, being gentle with yourself, you're doing the best you can, taking time for yourself, just writing out some notes about how I was feeling and what was happening 
take time to recharge your batteries creatively. So um, when I have sort of a bit of a block, um, I tend to come in here and just slap colour down and just write. And that usually gets me over the block that I've got. This was uh, one that I did and I've got a video up of it um, for New Year's. And again, just using lots of Little Raven Ink characters, celebrating sort of what I've done so far and what I plan to do for the following year. This page was inspired by this print here, which is one of her newest printables, and this beautiful background. So I just extended it out um, and put the own, my own marks in to sort of replicate um, on the page. I love this combination of turquoise and red. It's one of my favourite colourways, so I was really happy to use it. And again, this is the other wing from the page back here. Um, so it worked in well. So this little unicorn -y type person with a wing coming out of bum. Because it's weird like that. This page as well, I've got um, a video on. This is really personal to me, but um, I actually, usually if something's personal to me, I do scribble writing, but I deliberately made it readable and the reason for that was I had an anxiety attack recently which I hadn't had for ages and my mum didn't actually realise I had anxiety and said what does it feel like and I sort of had to go away and process it a bit because I'd never actually been asked that question before people sort of said oh you've got anxiety what but to actually try and put it into words of what it felt like so it was a really interesting process and I'm really glad I have the opportunity to be creative doing that because this page really represented it to me and I sort of ended up saying it's like a huge storm trapped in a fragile bu bubble with every fibre of your body fighting to keep the bubble in one piece it's exhausting and that's one thing I find personally with um, anxiety is once it's over it's just the absolute mental physical and emotional exhaustion afterwards um, that you have to sort of work through so that's why I, I did this page and why it's more readable than usual. These two pages I did while we were on holiday, I tend to travel with, with this journal because it's really, really convenient. Um, I've got a little travel bag, which I'll show you. Ta-da! So just in here, my little journal fits in. I've got... All my printables and collagey bits, um, I usually, I've unpacked it, but in here sits some watercolours, some paint markers, some water brushes, and my journal, and that's what goes with me, and it's really convenient, and I've taken it lots of places, and it just works perfectly. So while I was sitting at night in our hotel room, because I've got a, a one-year-old, she was out in the lounge room as well, so we had to be fairly quiet, I was sitting there fussy cutting around this and doing these pages. This is another two pages which I really love. Um, again, using the printables. So Courtney's got these beautiful border frames and these images um, and just put them down, fill the background with watercolour and stop thinking, just create ice life. So fill your life with joy because art does fill my life with joy. I did have to alter this image so <laughs> what? And I don't know if it's just me, but every time I look at that image, it does look like breasts to me hanging out. Yeah, so I always have to look twice when I did it. So when I did it, I sort of had to deliberately make it look like a like flowery collar. These are the last few pages in this signature. And they don't... I was doing them... I actually did these last night. And while I really like them, they just don't fit with the rest of it. Um, I was obviously in a different frame of mind. So um, this, I suppose, it's because I'm using materials I don't usually use in here so I've got some stencils in the background some texture paste because I've got some new stencils and I thought I'd try them out still got this cute little creature in here and this sort of went on last after I'd done all these pages because I was looking at it and it's like oh well it, it it is what it is and it fits I do love this printable here this is all one piece and it just fitted on really nicely on this little page um I don't know if you can see the shine on this uh, but these pens are amazing. They are, let's see if I can find them in my pe little pen rack, this liquid chrome. And I was a bit 
hemming and hawing over it because I thought, oh yeah. It's like putting a mirror down on the page. It just has so much shine and shimmer to it. It's just fabulous. And it's one of those paint pens that I've put down that works straight away. So um, yeah, if you see those out and about, grab them because they're just amazing. Now uh, these two pages I was playing around with the Dina Wakeley white printables and scribble sticks and I'd stuck them down just to see what they worked like. I really liked them but it the white printing on it disappeared so it didn't actually work the way I wanted it to but I got had this nice border and just stuck it in. These are some new stamps that I got with the new stencils so I put them down then put a border around it. And finally I had this one where I was just having a go doing sort of a, a watercolour city sort of dripping down the page and then the night sky and um, this, this stamp set is from a company called uh, The Ink Road and it says I'm not great at the advice can I interest you in the sarcastic comment and um, I don't know if you can see this I'll put it on here I had to buy it because I'm an absolute friends fiend and all these stamps are quotes from friends so yeah it just had to go in the basket and I was really bad because I couldn't help myself because they had these two as well Princess Bride so that's a company the ink road so it's got all my favorite quotes one of my favorite movies ever and of course teacher and me Harry Potter as well I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with these stamps because I don't really make cards anymore and they are such a particular stamp set all three of them even if they sit in my shelf but they just make me happy so um yeah <laughs> I was practicing and I used one of those that was the best one I could put in this page so that's my little flip through of my junk journal I'm really looking forward to filling the second signature thank you so much to Chrissy for making this for me it's just one of my most treasured things ever I just absolutely adore it and yeah it's my go-to travel journal it's my go-to I need to create and fill things up so um, if you've got an opportunity to get a junk journal or make a junk journal I'd really advise it because it's just so much fun to play in Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you later. Bye.